Hey guys, this is Chad with Take One Film and Video here in Nashville, Tennessee. Thanks for joining me back. I've got my good friend John Ballinger here with me. How you doing, John? Doing great, Chad. It's great to have you back, and you always bring cool toys. And today, uh, we're going to be talking about PTZ cameras. And in fact, we've got uh, several videos that we have on different Panasonic products, so make sure to check those out. But today, let's get into some of the PTZ models. Now, PTZs are great. We love PTZs. They integrate really well with our systems. Uh, they're great for standalone applications, and nobody does them like Panasonic. And so really excited to have four great examples of a, a large lineup. You actually have a lot more than what we have here, but this is a really great example of uh, kind of different tiers, maybe mm -hmm. that fits different applications and different budgets. Right. But real quick, PTZs, uh, for those that don't know, are stand for pan, tilt, and zoom. Correct. Um, the, the, we use them in our system building because they can apply a couple different ways. Sometimes we have man cameras and we have a band or something where you can't really stick a camera guy, so these can really go into really discreet places and get shots that you can't get elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, then other places you have uh, churches or corporate environments that you have a limited amount of staff that uh, you, you know they can't supply camera operators for every position. So we can use these and basically now you have one guy that can actually do it all, really. Uh, and uh, it makes it very, very uh, convenient and economical for people to have that type of flexibility. And let's, let's face it, over the last several years, we've come a long ways in PTZ technology. So I wanted to have you talk a little bit about a couple of examples. We kind of got uh, the, the smaller to bigger here. So tell us a little bit about uh, what, well, about these cameras and kind of what's going on with PTZ technology. Sure. Well, one thing to remember, all of our cameras have a, a few features in common. You can power them all over Ethernet. Okay. Uh, and, and these four models have built-in image stabilization, which is very uh, handy, especially if, you know, if you're a church and you're mounting the camera to the front of the balcony. You don't have to worry about when the, a little kid goes up. Uh, to the restroom and, and the camera shakes camera and you're zoomed all the way in. So yeah, we've seen that image before. stabilization works very well for that. And, uh, uh, and uh, even with bass drums and guitar. So, but um, uh, these are probably the top uh, four models that we sell. Well, let's and, talk about the first so. two because they look really similar. I think they're the same basic basic design, but they're, they're different. We've got the, the uh, is it the UE42? or the, This uh, is the HE42. HE42. And so this is a 1080 60p native, okay. and uh, also uh, with uh, image stabilization, as I mentioned. But uh, another thing, it has 3G SDI and HDMI out. And now, will both actually, of those work at the same time? Can you use? Yes, they're, okay. they're live at the same time. And also, these two have a micro SD card slot where I, you can actually record video. Oh, that's uh, cool. Video. Like an old ISO recorder. It does, and an audio input. And so that, that way you can record audio you know, along with your video. So the 70 here actually has the big 4K sticker on that. So that tells me, and I see NDI as well. That's so right. we got two different things going on here. We do, ha all of our cameras can, uh, are NDI compatible. Now some of our cameras do come with NDI already. So the, the AWUN70 is one of those models, uh, but you can also order it without NDI, which is the is the UE70. Yeah, which uh, real quick for everybody, the NDI is actually a, uh, it's, a, IP uh, that allows video and control and everything over and, just right. one Right, you can do everything over one cable. And uh, and then we have a switcher that supports that too, uh, the HLC 100. And uh, so moving on up, we've got uh, uh, two more here. I, I see 4K on both of these models as well. So these are getting a little bit bigger, a little different form factor. Mm -hmm. So we have the uh, UE 100. This is the uh, the new UE 100. Okay. We just came out with it not too long ago. and. Uh, there's uh, some newer features on this. It has not only 3G, but it has 12G out and HDMI, and they're all live simultaneously. Uh, uh, this also comes with NDI, HX, and NDI native. And, and so, and, of course, and then the UE150 is the is the uh, flagship PTZ uh, for Panasonic. It is also 4K, 60P, has 12G, 3G, uh, monitor out, HDR, HDMI, and HDR, yeah. and actually you can you can output HDR and SDR simultaneously. That's really cool, and we've actually used that in, in an application with uh, a setup with your UC 4000s, which is your you know your Primo 4K studio cameras. These look these these fall right in line. They look really good and they match up really well. So that's that's kind of the king daddy, uh, the best. But really, all of these 
give you a really great result. It just depends on what you want. Because if there's a lot of people that just don't really have a use for 4K, it's not really in their long-term right. plan. And, and maybe the 42 is perfect for that because you don't have to spend all the extra money for the 4K, the HDR, and those right. are the features that you're not going to use anyway. Right. So, uh, but, but if you do have the plan to move up, the 100 and the 150 will do HD today. It will for future protect you, but yes. also, uh, even if you're not using 4K, uh, this normally, uh, digital extenders and digital zoom I would shy away from, but with a 4K sensor, uh, Might as well you use can it, yeah. punch in if you're doing 1080, and uh, uh, so you're now you can get more than 20x uh, zoom. Without any resolution loss. That's right. That's really cool. And we have another video we're gonna be talking about the controllers a little bit in depth, so make sure to check that out. And also the uh, UHS 500, you can actually control these cameras right on the switcher, which we're gonna get into again in another video, so check that out. And of course, you've got the HRP 1000, which is the controller that you use for all your studio cameras. Right. And so uh, the cool thing is now it will actually control and paint all PTZ PTZ lines PTZ as well, mm -hmm. which is really cool. If you got a video shader position, you just you can have the same sticks and it yep. looks really nice. Well, this is really cool. We've got a lot more to talk about. We're gonna be talking about controllers and switchers, so check out those other videos. If you guys have any questions or if you're looking for a PTZ application for your church, for your corporate environment or anything, let us know. Call us at 1-877-81-TAKE-1. You can also email us at mail at take1.tv. Well, John, always great having you here. You're always welcome to bring more toys and we got more to talk about. Looking forward yeah. to it. All right, thank you all.